from 0 to 200 mg per GF. The concentration is not fixed. What is the rationale using a uh, dilated glucose? To answer this question, we need to go back to the history. By the history starting in the 1960s, we have glucose with the only osmotic force for fluid removal and dilated glucose concentration reaching up to 16 grams or 1,600 mg per GF. But this uh, Swedish scientist, which is Neil Alwin, he discovered the alkaline concentration by hydrostatic pressure and found to be more superior than osmotic pressure. So by this time, the imposing dialysate drastically decreased. Still, some centers use uh, concentration 2.7 gram per liter to avoid disequilibrium syndrome. Other countries add glucose and dialysate as a standard to avoid hypoglycemia. Some countries use glucose free dialysate. I think this is for some time slight uh, uh, experience. Uh, this is because of concern of afflating of bacterial or fungal infection. Optimal dialysate in, in, in glucose is not, but the concentration is controversial. In USA, they use the glucose 200 mg per liter. In Europe, they use 100 mg per liter. In Egypt, I think, let it use. If you look for dialysate glucose, either we have G0 or glucose free, or glucose charged either by 100 or 200. Here, for glucose free, free we have negative glucose balance by 30 grams. For glucose charged by 200, we have positive uh, glucose balance by 15 grams. Comparison between glucose charged and glucose free in diabetic and non diabetic. They show, this is non diabetic, show significant decrease in hypoglycemia and also in diabetic significant decrease in hypoglycemia. This is reaching zero, but this is 0.5 percent. Here, glucose charged dialysate versus glucose free. Glucose charged, the decrease in blood sugar will be not significant during the uh, dialysis, either in diabetic or non diabetic. But glucose free significantly decrease teaching high glycine. This is dialysate glucose. This is the glucose uh, free, and this is the uh, glucose charged dialysate. This is reaching less than 70 percent, so the incidence of hypoglycemia is more in glucose free, in diabetic, and in non diabetic, and in both. Glucose loss more in glucose free than glucose charged, either in diabetic or non diabetic, also. If you look to this patient, if he has more blood sugar, fasting blood sugar or random blood sugar, uh, HE1, and he has no food serving during his dialysis, he lost about 30 grams per session for his glucose, and this will lead to hypoglycemia. And the way to avoid this just to add a glucose in dialysis or to serving him a diet at or before uh, dialysis. Feeding during dialysis also is a controversial issue, so most of center avoid and no recommendation for serving food for uh, during hemodialysis. And that they are afraid of choking and aspiration, uh, postprandial hypotension, and infection control uh, hygiene measure like uh, oral spread of some uh, hepatitis C and some synthesis. Uh, so if we have some recommendation, we can use the free dialysis uh, food. You say not serving. Uh, food during hemodialysis, but in Europe, some countries serve and some other no. Germany give uh, diet. In Egypt, I think we give in some centers and but not all. <coughs> the sequence of glucose free uh, dialysate is mainly hypoglycemic. This 
high glycemia lead to increased the protein catabolism and this lead to loss of amino acids and this leads to a negative nitrogen balance. Second, gluconeogenesis is increasing uh, with uh, utilization of some substrate like lactate and biotin. And also on the other side, glycogenolysis occurs using fatty acids lead to increased acetoacetate and beta degradation. On the level of RBCs, there is inhibition of HMP chunk, our exosomone phosphate chunk, and this leads to decrease NADH and glutathione, which is acting as an antioxidant. In the opposite charge diversity, we have decreased our less prominent high glycine. So, it limits the amino acid loss. Second, this uh, caloric intake increase and lower energy expenditure. On the other side, normalize the activity of HMB shunt and this will help to limit the oxidative stress. But the concern about it may be pro-inflammatory. Also, it may affect the potassium clearance. It may affect lipid. And finally, it induces hyperinsulinemia. We will discuss this from Weber. Uh, here we found that this insulin level, this is glucose free and this is 200, so higher insulin level in the glucose charge is 200. Second, lipid. Triglyceride show no change. As regards to potassium, so the serum potassium equal for both, but actually the net potassium removal is minimally increased in glucose free. So it may be affected by the glucose charge. Another thing for potassium and the children, they found that additional glucose in dialysate has minimal effect on the amount of potassium removed during dialysis. So no big effect about the regard to this. Uh, what about the growth inflammatory? Is hyperglycemia a supraphysiologic uh, glucose, glucotoma, and uh, TL can be a growth inflammatory? Mm -hmm. We know that hyperglycemia in the is a pro inflammatory. This is fact. Usually, hyperglycemia anywhere may be pro inflammatory. And that is hyperglycemia, and it will increase the action, advanced uh, glycation in the protein. And this will lead to uh, some cytokines like uh, uh, transforming growth factor alpha, uh, insulin growth factor, interleukin 1, and also through the good pathway, it may increase the uh, interface activity and this will increase some cytokines. So hyperglycemia is a growing In peritoneal uh, dialysis, we use uh, higher concentration of glucose already. So we found that increased advanced glycation in the product and also increased interleukin 1, interleukin 6 and other growth factors. But actually, if we look for mortality for patients on new diets, both free and patient in BD with this high concentration, they found no difference in mortality. So maybe it's not so much uh, important. Also, we have no report. They currently about the uh, cause of our low inflammation to uh, increase with the proposed charge of dialysis, they now it's not maybe this is fine for uh, research. Uh, now we, we need to answer which concentration of glucose we need to start. We need to take G, G100 or G200. This study is already on September 2012, just this month. Uh, this uh, study is a metabolic uh, effect of analyzing glucose using glucose 100 versus glucose 200 and then needs uh, the same patient taking 100 for 3 weeks and the same patient will be uh, chested to the 200. And the result will be as we got the blood glucose, blood glucose here, this is the diabetic patient, show that G. 200 is significantly higher than glucose than the uh, G 100. This is a diabetic, and this is a non-diabetic, also significantly higher blood sugar in uh, 200 than 100. 
but we know in diabetic we reaching uh, around to 100 milligrams per kg, but here still we have between 100 and 100. As regards to insulin, in diabetics there is no change in insulin, but in non-diabetics there is significant hyperinsulinemia. This is intradiabetic hypertension, no significant change between uh, G100 and G200 as regards in diabetic or standard. Potassium clearance, they found no significant difference between the two groups uh, at any time during hemodialysis. As regards phosphorus clearance, they found uh, some uh, changes, uh, decrease the phosphorus in, with uh, the group using the phosphorus one month. They conclude that G200 may exert unfavorable metabolic effect in chronic hemodialysis. They mean the hyperinsulinemia and hyperglycemia. In particular, hyperinsulinemia, hyperglycemia. But G100 reveal more favorable metabolic profile for the patient with or without that. The adverse effect like intradiarrhea, hypertension, and hyperglycemia didn't differ between the two diarrhea. Some advice to use 200 to avoid hypoglycemia. But as regards to hypoglycemia, that uh, 200 may be the same like the 100. So lowering glucose concentration in dialysate, we need to lower the level of inflammatory marker, which is not proved by glycine, minimum metabolic effect, hyperglycemia, hyperinsulinemia. Uh, so the use of more physiological dialysate glucose concentration appears to be safe with minimal metabolic consequence. FDA approved 100 mg per kg uh, glucose uh, dialysate recently and I think it's currently present in USA and also in Asia. To summarize, clinically abnormal glucose homeostasis is manifested either by fasting hyperglycemia, glucose intolerance or spontaneous hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia is more common. 40% of non diabetic and 52% of diabetic patients experience hyperglycemia during hemodialysis. Because free dialysate contribute to hyperglycemia, amino acid loss with negative nitrogen balance, increased glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis, and uh, decreased the production of glucosium. On the other hand, glucose charged dialysate contribute to caloric intake, lower energy expenditure, limit amino acid loss, and limit oxidative stress, but unfortunately, it increases the insulin. And we know that insulin can, uh, can increase particular problems. Hyperphysiologic glycate, uh, glucose charged by the zinc, which is uh, 200 mg per liter, may be associated with glucose intolerance, hyperinsulinemia, may be pro-inflammatory. The use of both physiologic dialysate glucose concentration, G100, appears to be seen with minimal uh, metabolic consequence. Dialysate 100 is immediately approved and is available. I think maybe now is the time to start glucose by a physiologic concentration, uh, which is 100 mg per person.
لو انا ببدا انت وقفت وقعدت ابدا بدوزس قليله وزود زي ما بيزود في عينيه مش لازم ويز مور بوش انت وقفت الانسولين يا دكتور قد يكون كنترول للانسولين وانت محتاج تقلل الانسولين بس مش محتاج توقفه لان العيان بعض الاوقات صعب قوي وفي عيان يقول لك خلاص انا ظبطت وهم واقفين عليك واقفين عليك بعد فتره بقى بتبقى عنده مكروه وده ما بقتش زوج يعني هو اكيد عنده عوامل غيرت الكليه شويه ولكن انا ممكن اقل مش لازم اوقف خالص اوقف خالص لما الاقي ان الست بتبص قليله جدا وما عندهاش مش عارف مسج ده فاكر طبعا انما لو كان كده انا اقل لو هرجع دلوقتي هرجع وابص قليله وهعمل السب يعني اب كده بس على على الكيرف الاوسع علشان تبقى عادي عشان يخش منك حاجات كويسه لكن بنرجع من نفس العاديه العادي خالص بتحسب لي الجرعه زي ما بنحسب العاديين العاديين خد نصهم وابدا اقسمهم وابدا زي ما بنبدا عادي واعمل ترايل اتغير بالتحليل لغايه ما توصل للكنترول بتاعه زي العادي واللي ممكن يكون فيه ممكن برضه في النسبه زي ما بالرغم ان هو مش قادر لكن الريكومند فيهم سبعه سبعه ونص ده من ضمن الحاجات اللي كانت زي ما قلنا نعديها اه نعديها يعني بس لو تفتكر الكونسيرن ده كان نفس الكونسيرن على الباي بار صح كده؟ ومع ذلك يا واضح ان الامور ما هياش يعني ما هياش ما هياش سيجنيفيكانت الاول لان انا حتى لو دلوقتي ما لقيتش حاجه محدده بتقول ان انا كان هو اللي يقول لي ولا تاخد من دي فور عشان في انفكشن ويتش از نو Thank you. 